15 minutes, which you must utilize well. My, my court assistant will keep time. I these three Kenyans, Bob, Michelle, Jackie, Jamil Longton, and Aslan Longton. You know them? I don't know them, my lord. When did you come to hear of I heard of them when it was reported at Kitengela and the signal was circulated by the OCS to all OCS in Kenya of the missing person, my lord. How long ago was that? The date you've mentioned, my lord. Pardon? The date you've just mentioned, my lord. No. That was on the 19th August. August, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Between 19th of August and May, how many days are those? Around one month, my lord. Around one month. What efforts, if any, have been made by the National Police Service to test this thing? My lord, immediately it was reported. <coughs> the signal was sent throughout the country to all OCS. The investigation was opened and started immediately and still is live. The investigation is on. Just we appealed to the public also to assist us on where they could be found, my lord. Do you have any report preliminary or final so far as those investigations are concerned? Come on, can my lord? Do you have any report, preliminary or final, insofar as the investigations are concerned? What I know, my lord, is that the investigation is still on, and they have not been found, as this morning when I was coming to this court, my lord. When did you wake up this morning? Wow, a bit early, my lord. It was at zero. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So when did you set off to come to this court? <laughs> my lord, I came this to this court very early because I was supposed to start at nine and by eight I was here, my lord. No, I can speak in Kipukuzi if you want. <laughs> my question is, when did you set off to come? Set off from where, my lord? Wherever you are. At zero eight zero zero, I set off from my office, headed to the money courts, my lord. By then, had you received any briefings in so far as uh, these three are concerned? My lord, I received the briefings that they had not yet been found. That was the brief that I had received because there was no new brief that I had gotten from the mm -hmm. legal. But if there has been from here, I will call and confirm from our police stations if any has been made a report, my lord. Yeah. So, if that be the case, it is your confirmation that uh, you have not complied with the habeas corpus order to produce <coughs> My lord, we did not have them in our custody, my lord. So, listen, don't answer the question. Answer my question. There was an order directed at you to produce these two. These two. So have you complied with the order? You can say yes or no, and if you say no, then you explain why you not. You, please, get out of that place. My, my lord, this gentleman, the short gentleman, is giving, is giving the tall gentleman answers. <laughs> my, my, my lord, I was standing next to him, and no, 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 nothing no, no, of that sort of happened. You, you know, they have taken us through a charade. We will not, we will not be too hard to this nonsense. <laughs> no, my lord, 
know that I, I, I request that these people move away from the leaders. Mila can remain, but these individuals can move away from the leaders. You can go out there every day. Yes, I do. Yeah, and I'll be brief. I want to ask the last question. Mr. Masageli, look at the court, listen to my question and give the answer. There was an order directed at you to produce these three in court. You are aware of that order? I'm aware, my lord. Have you produced these three in court? I've not, my lord, because... It's okay. You have not produced them in court? Yes, my lord. Why? I don't have them, my lord. And they are not within the police cells, my lord. Okay. That's a sufficient answer. Thank you so much, Mr. Agilbert. That's all for me. Good afternoon, my lord. I have very few questions for you. When you took office, did you say to protect the rule of law? Yes, my lord. Do you think you're about the law? No, my lord. Do you think your conduct allows you to continue holding public office? Yes, my lord. The, the conduct of not obeying the rule of law allows you to hold office? Here I am, my lord. I have obeyed. Yes, my lord. Do you find it uh, difficult that the day you chose to come to court today is the same day that uh, the three petitioners have been found? Do you find it uh, disturbing as uh, an acting inspector general, a former acting inspector general, and currently a deputy inspector general? My lord, that is subject to investigation. <coughs> As police officers, we will have to call further and investigate. Also, have our. My question was very rhetorical. Do you, do you look at the coincidence between the day you, you've been you, you've chosen? I'm saying you've chosen because we have had eight instances before here, which you you chose not to come. Do you find it disturbing that the day you chose to come to court? <coughs> It's the same day the three petitioners were found in the morning. Do you find it My Lord, I don't find it disturbing because to me, up to now, I'm not aware where not whether they've been found. Okay. You've answered my question. My second question, Mr. Masengeli. You have apologized to the court for not honoring those seven summons. Is that an admission of guilt from your part? My Lord, that's not an admission of guilt, but I explained myself, my Lord. Why did you apologize? If, truthfully, your affidavit, the one you have supplied to the court, if whatever you have sworn and presented to the court is true, why are you apologizing for doing the right thing? Because, my Lord, I was supposed to be here in person. You are supposed to be here in person. And here I am, my Lord. Your apologies to you being here in person, not to your conduct of disobedience. It's a straightforward. My apology is to pray that the Lord of this court accepts the apology that I had just made, vacate the conviction and the sentence. Mm -hmm. So, we so I pray to Mr. my Mr. Lord. To say that you've confirmed to this court that you are guilty and the court convicted you because of that apology and the sentence? No, my lord.
lastly, uh, my last question is on the orders. From the time this petition was filed by the Law Society of Kenya, at what point did you see the first order of this court? Or come across the first order summoning you? My Lord... To answer the question, my lord, it was on 29th of August 2024, my lord. 29th of August. So you say it was on 29th of August? Yes, my lord. That was the first time you knew that there was that an order summoning you to court? Yes, my lord. Were you aware of the second order? It's a yes or no? My lord, I've put it in my habit of it. That is why I'm asking you that question. Were you aware of the second order? You can say yes or no. This is a question. Yes, my lord. You are aware of the third order? Yes, my lord. You are aware of the fourth order? So yes or no? Yes, my lord. You are aware of the fifth order? <coughs> My Lord, I think it's, you need to clarify them yeah. in terms of uh, dates. Dates. My Lord, my Lord, it is not too sure of the dates of the orders. Let him just abandon that line of question. My Lord, the question has already answered. I don't think Malachi Senior is doing the right thing by calling the answer from the ground. You had the benefit of having all the eight orders on your desk. You may be right if I say that. Mr. Masayeli? No, my lord. So if you didn't have the benefit, how did you find yourself in court today? Because, my lord, I caught the conviction and the last orders that I appeal
appear in person, my Lord. So are you trying to tell the court that you are only aware of the first order and the conviction and sentence? Is that your position? No, my Lord. I've... Mm -hmm. I know that's all for me. Annette, how many minutes are in? Okay, you have three minutes. My court assistant tells me that uh, that confusion has only extended three minutes. So you have three minutes. Ten and it's fine. Very well. I'll proceed. Looking uh, at your judges. Your name, Council? My name is Abubakar. Mr. Masengeli, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my lord. You didn't mention the areas you were doing when the orders were issued, but you mentioned you were in Lamu County. Which other county? Northeastern, my lord. Northeastern region. Uh, and eastern, my lord. North eastern, North eastern, eastern, and the coast province on coast region, my lord. Right. Those three regions. Very well. From the evidence, where do we see that you are indeed there? I filed in my affidavit, my lord, mm -hmm. and there are signals attached on the same, my lord. The director's one, that where you belong. I said on oath. Please, direct us. Please. Mr. Masengeli, King Lam. Mr. Masengeli, North Eastern. Please. Mr. Yeah, so we need to accept the message. Um, one, yeah, in my team, the uniform from PC, 23, yeah, GM2, 23, 24. My Lord, in my habit of it. My Lord, yes. on number 23, paragraph 23, my Lord, and paragraph 24, my Lord. Yes, yes, I've read the, I've read the, and 27, and paragraph 27, my Lord. My question is, substantiate that, cogent evidence that I'm in Lamb. Ask him to produce the extras. My Lord, you may produce the extra. Sorry, how do you get the extras? My Lord, yes, I mean, this one, my Lord, this today does. Since the affidavit has an extra, yeah. and the witness has already pointed out the paragraphs that have the annexure, annexing the signals that Chancellor is asking, wouldn't that be sufficient? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Mr. Mercedes, how did you get to lunch before? My, my Lord, I think also we need to also be very careful about this line of questioning. Mm -hmm. This is a very senior state officer. The issues of. No, 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 my Lord. My Lord. Let, let, let me say this. Uh, you see, this is cross examination. Uh, when the witness says that he has answered, uh, if you are not satisfied with the answer, you can only now, if 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 he is, is, is if, if he is not able to go beyond what you are probing, then you can only make submissions on that at at a, at a later point. But you cannot keep on uh, 
asking him to do to substantiate so that he will not need to How did she get the language? My Lord, I used police chopper. Wow. Why did she use the same chopper with the five times you were summoned to court? My Lord, there are four mentions, not eight. Sorry? Four mentions. Okay, why did you use the top of the first mention? The second mention? The third mention? The fourth? My Lord, you admit to bring the court orders despite the chopper, right? I cannot disobey court orders, my Lord. Court orders are there to be obeyed and enforced, my Lord. On these four mentions that you say you don't believe there are more, you sent someone, correct? Yes, my Lord. You sent the director legal, you sent the director IG. Under Section 8, you have the power to delegate, correct? Not only power to delegate, my Lord. Say yes or no, correct? Yes, my Lord. Why didn't you delegate to Lam? Why didn't you delegate to the North East? My Lord, I am the head of that unit that okay. was engaged why? in is why? security operations. My Lord calls for my being there, guidance, because I know I have the commanders across the country, my Lord. And with what it happened there, I hate to be it's a fact, my lord. Yes. So you delegate sometimes, correct? Sure, my lord. Yes. So you had the ability to delegate. I leave it at that, my lord. Very well. So we are done with. Uh, you have exhausted your 15 minutes. No, no. You have exhausted your 15 minutes. Any re examination? Re examination from. Uh, any re examination? No, no, you said no. I think that's enough. Yes, then. My Lord, um, I have just one question. No, you said no, Council. Okay, just a minute, Council. I will. Uh, I understand that I'll give each of you, Mr. Miller and uh, the petitioners, five minutes to make brief submissions because after this I want to go and uh, write a ruling. Mm -hmm. You've okay. heard what the Inspector General of Police has said. Mm -hmm. You've heard what he has said on cross-examination. Mm -hmm. So make very brief submissions so that I can now come up with a ruling and we can see now the way forward. Mm -hmm. yeah? So yeah? That. Yes, so the AG is done, you can now leave the talk. So I will allow uh, who comes first. Yes, Mr. Ogola. You only have 65 minutes to make your brief submissions. If you can make it in two minutes, well, good.